Yellow Jacket women continue GNAC play this week, heading out on the road. Claire, two very good results for the Yellow Jackets, a 3-1 win over Western Oregon, then a, a shutout draw against Concordia. Talk about the two games last week. Coming off of preseason, we hadn't done very well. So, like, getting a win and a tie was really good for us, especially against Concordia. They were undefeated all season, and we got the tie for that. I think just this past weekend, we worked really hard in practices beforehand, and then we were able to come together and play really well, and it just clicked for us this past week, and hopefully it will continue to do that throughout the GNI conference. You've seen some increased time lately at a holding mid position. Talk about um, transitioning to the college game. It's your first year with the Yellow Jackets and, and seen some increased minutes lately. Yeah, originally in preseason I um, had pulled my uh, groin, so I was like get, coming back in slowly to get more playing minutes. And then um, the transition has um, been pretty well with a lot of upperclassmen being really welcoming and encouraging on the field, it made me feel like I was back playing at club, and I wasn't too nervous about like holding onto the ball more or um, making an attack. So it's been a good transition so far. And holding it in more of a defensive position on the field. Talk about the back line behind you, though, the way that they played this week, um, shutting down Concordia and really just limiting chances and handling a lot of pressure really well. Um, this past weekend with the uh, um, defenders, they did really well. They were. They tucked in together, they stayed compact. A lot of things we worked on during practice when we watched the film from preseason, we did a lot of drills working on that. And then we did a new formation where I sit right in front of the center backs. So um, I'm, I play more defensive and I know if I miss a ball or something, the center backs have my back. Amanda and Carrie did a great job this weekend. Same with Kaylin and Courtney. So I feel pretty comfortable playing right in front of them. This was your first taste of what it's like at the Division II level in the GNAC, uh, your first two GNAC games. What maybe were your expectations, and um, what did you think of your first two games? Um, I was personally really nervous going into our first two GNAC tournaments just based off of how we did in preseason. Um, I think we just stepped up as a team, and we were able to compete at this high level, with, um, especially against Concordia, as I had said before. And um, it was really good to be able to um, – Give, give them a good game and to get good results. You have your first conference road trip coming up this week. You head over to Nampa to face NNU and then uh, to Ellensburg against Central Washington. Um, what are your, some expectations, maybe goals, or hopes you have for the two games this week? Um, I hope we can continue how we played this past weekend in the t next two games. And um, I'm really excited to go to Washington because that's where I'm from, so I'll get to see my family. But I just hope we're able to continue um, having – a good game and make sure that we um, play well together, stay compact, and hopefully get some more finishes on goal. I think um, the win over Western Oregon was our best so far, and we played really well as a team. And you were you had a hand in one of the Yellow Jackets goals that Dana Lubinecki ended up scoring. It was kind of a give and go. She passed you, you laid it off, and she had a one-time hit. Talk about how you saw that yeah. play develop. Well, we practiced it um, a lot in practice, kind of. We did some offensive plays and so what I did was I just cut to the ball and then did an overlap with Dana and she just ran around me and scored. And and you're new to the program but talk about having a player like that to kind of hold you guys together a senior that kind of everyone looks up to. Um, it's really helpful she's really positive and she's a hard worker even in practice and everything she works hard and you can definitely tell on the field. And though you are new on the team, you do have a, a teammate who's familiar with uh, Caitlin on the team also. You guys are both from Alaska, kind of a, a unique spot to be from for soccer. Talk about um, maybe what's different about the game there and having her on the team as well. Um, it's really nice because she's one of my best friends. So it's nice having her there and having her there to support us. And looking forward to the rest of the season. Um, it's GNAC play the rest of the way. Now you, mm -hmm. you've had a taste of kind of what the competition level is like in the conference. Uh, what are your thoughts about the team's trip uh, this week? I think we did really good this week. Before I was, I wasn't doubting us, but we were struggling a little bit and that was worrying me. But now I think we're starting to get our stuff on track. So I have good hopes for it. Yeah, I think that was great. I mean, we uh, we've always thought about um, you know being hard at the at home and being uh, going undefeated, and I, I think we uh, kind of uh, started the GNAC really well. I mean, with the win and the tie, uh, I think we had some really good chances against against Concordia, and uh, but I think overall we we, we played really good uh, in the back and also. Uh, I would say up front, and I, I think our midfielders, Claire, did a really good job in both games uh, on, on Thursday and, uh, and Saturday. So, yeah, no, it's, I, I think it's a good start. We definitely 
Uh, very excited uh, going on the on the road this week. Talk about the way that the offense clicked. You had three different players score a goal, so it's not like it was just um, you relying on one player against Western Oregon. Haley Warren, Dana, and Jordan Devoto all scoring. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, and then we also got like uh, I think three other players that assisted on goals. So there, there were at least six players involved uh, in those three goals, and uh, it, it, it's great because uh, uh, you don't know how uh, each player feels each day, so uh, you can't just rely on one player. Uh, and it was great for Haley to, to get a goal, come, you know, she's coming back from the injury. Uh, that obviously boosted her, her confidence, and uh, obviously um, uh, Jordan scoring her first college career goal, I, I mean, it was amazing. I know she waited a long, long time for that moment. And uh, I mean, it was a great, great execution, I think, from all the goals, not just Jordan's, but uh, all the goals were uh, well played. And we, we went over that in, in training a lot. So I'm, I'm glad it actually happened against, against Western Oregon. Talk a minute about the defensive unit and just how proud you were of them on, on Saturday. Tough conditions with the wind out there, uh, but Amanda, Carey, Courtney, and Kaylin, all a great job on the back line. They uh, definitely improved a lot from, uh, from uh, I would say, last week or even two weeks ago. We, we've uh, talked to them. We went over that in training uh, again. And I, I think they were extremely organized and compact where uh, Concordia was trying to attack um, uh, at the back four. But also uh, give a lot of credit to Lily, too, because I think she does an awesome job in the back organizing them. She's pretty loud and outspoken. And if we can deny any chances, then uh, I actually Lily might not be too busy. Um, but they, they, I, I think they did a really, really good job of covering and uh, um, communicating to each other. And I, I would also throw uh, uh, Claire to that mix too, because she's playing holding mid now. Uh, I think she's well, well more aware of her position and what her role is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was, it was great. The conditions were tough, and I think they adjusted really well to the win. And um, yeah, no, we got a we got a, at least a point from that game. How do you keep the momentum rolling this week? You head into Nampa Thursday to face Northwest Nazarene, and then another tough game on Saturday against Central Washington. Well, we just gotta keep playing the way we're playing. I think each game, I know we didn't get the win against Concordia, but I, I think it was another solid performance uh, by by us. Uh, uh, we're really close of of actually getting a goal, so I I, I think. Um, the two games uh, we play really well, and 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 I think we got the momentum now, and and I think the girls are really excited. We just got to do what we did uh, last last two games, and I think we'll be we'll be okay. Uh, yes, we'll be playing on the road, and it might be a little bit uh, uh, harder, but uh, as long as we um, outplay the teams like we did uh, on last two games, I think we'll be we'll be okay. I mean, the the both teams are are you know the. It will be a tough game, so we're definitely expecting tough games, but I think we're ready for that.